let us celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For from her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Many friends, thank you for being here. It's a full house, it seems. We have limited to just 50, and we have the 50 here. Thank you for being here. Today, the church celebrates the nativity, or the birthday of Mother Mary. This is a big feast all over the world because Mother Mary was instrumental in bringing us the Savior. Today, the day after Thanksgiving Day, or not Thanksgiving, Labor Day, we usually start a new academic year. We have set out on a program entitled Prayer, People, Programs. The center of our life is prayer. Pray constantly. The family that prays together stays together. And we would like to endeavor to bring our parish together through prayer. Bring the people together through projects. And if we have trouble dealing with people or dealing with projects, we turn to prayer which remains constant. We have a calendar of events for the month of September. Today we begin with adoration after Mass. We we'll consecrate ourselves to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, consecrate ourselves to the Holy Spirit, and consecrate ourselves to the Father. Every day we we'll have a different prayer program so that we can have the parish coming together. Please keep in touch with Flock Note because you'll be informed through the Flock Note, our instrument of communication. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, let's call to mind our feelings and ask God to forgive us. And all together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have prayed in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her son was the dawning of salvation through Christ our Lord. And I forgot to say that after Mass, we will have a short adoration for about 25-30 minutes. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler of Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up unto the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock, by the strength of the Lord, 
in the majestic name of the Lord his God, and they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach the ends of the earth. He shall be at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay. The uh, responsorial psalm is, With delight I rejoice in the Lord. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Right. I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With delight I rejoice in the Lord.
Mary, Mother Mary, happy birthday. Let us remember, each of us also was given the fortune to be born on this earth and celebrate a gift of community, a gift of coming together in prayer with the people and for all the deeds that we are asked to do. Let us stand to breathe. Let us bring our needs before God, whose will it is that all humanity should be saved. For our Holy Father, O Francis, may the Lord in His divine goodness watch over and care for Him. Let us pray. For peace in the world, may God's love and justice Guide those in power and authority. Let us pray. For those suffering from any affliction, may Jesus, may Jesus give them peace and strength. Let us pray. For this congregation of faith, may the Lord make us holy as the Blessed Virgin Mary was holy and full of grace. Let us pray. For those who have died, especially for Mary Ann Simmons, James Carpin, and Robert Lilly, for whom this Mass is requested. May they rest in the eternal peace of God. Let us pray. God of mercy and love, as we celebrate today the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring these prayers to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the liberty of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our iniquities, cleanse us from our sins. Bring your friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, and may He, who at His birth from the Blessed Virgin, did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking form from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the nativity of your motherhood. On this feast day of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without opposing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be free, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these. 
gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when some of us entered, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death of the Lord and through the Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring unto the fullness of charity, together with Christ our Lord, blaze our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and mercy in us all we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be. We, that we may merit to be coerced into eternal life and be praised and glorified you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, God, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Just a gentle reminder as you come up for communion, please wait for the usher to come up to you and usher you out of the pew. Sanitize your hands and come forward in a single file, keeping the social distance. Receive communion with your mask on and on your hand only, and then move to the side, consume the host, and move back to the place. Thank you. Lamb of God.
I celebrated the Eucharist at the altar. We now spent a few minutes, at the most 30 minutes, praying to Sacred Heart of Jesus, present in the Blessed Sacrament, and also invoking Mother Mary to help us to be united in prayer and peace. O saving Nathan, open wide the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name by endless praise, immortal Godhead, one in three. O grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. Amen.
Prayer in the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in them the fire of love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be healed, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in His consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the saying goes, to Jesus through men, let us now invoke Mother Mary on her birthday to help us through these trying times to experience the presence of Jesus, the healing soul, to help us in our captivity. I'm sure all of us are aware of this icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Health. You may be seated in one. The one thing to notice is Mary is present, lovingly, carefully holding her child in her arms. The two angels are on either side, but the child is very comfortable. What to be noticed in a lady of perpetual help is one of Jesus' sandals is loose and falling off. The story goes that when Jesus in his infancy was troubled, he always ran to the arms of his mother Mary. We are troubled in our own way. Let us invoke Mary to bring us to Jesus and get that strength. Let us pray. O Mary, Mother of Perpetual Health, I salute thee with the filial devotion. I renew the consecration of myself and all I have to thee. I thank thee for, the, for thy material protection and for the many blessings that I have received through thy through thy wondrous mercy and most powerful intercession. In all my necessities, I have recourse to thee with unbound confidence, O help of our Christians, O mother of mercy. I beseech thee now to hear my prayer and to obtain for me of thy divine mercy, son the favor that I request in this novena. Obtain for me also, dearest mother of perpetual help, the grace that I may imitate you and become more like you in the practice of the virtues of humility, purity, submission to the will of God and charity. Be my protectress in life, guard and guide me in dangers, direct me in difficulties, lead me in the way of perfection and assist me in the hour of my death that I may come to Jesus and with thee enjoy him. <coughs> Excuse me. Enjoy him, bless him, and love him eternally in heaven. Amen. Blessed forever be our God, who hath made thee, O oh Mary, so powerful, so compassionate, so compassionate, and so ready to help. What would become of us Poor sinners without you. With what faces us after having so often deserved this grace and punishment, could we go before our sovereign judge and ask of him not only pardon for but favors and share in eternal glory? Blessed be you to O Clement Queen for having so often interposed between divine justice and me thy most unworthy client for having turned away God's anger from me and for having obtained for me so many graces. These graces are my desires for those I may and ought to still hope for from, the, the, from thy perpetual help. Hence, for the time to come, 
whenever I feel more painfully the weight of my unworthiness, when all seems lost and I am tempted even to despair, then especially full of confidence will I invoke your blessed name. I will make my misery a, a claim on your mercy. I will believe that if God lets me feel my weakness, it is to force me to cast myself into the arms of His mercy and upon you, my sweet and holy hope. Designed to bring to remember this resolution in me in my time of need and grant that I may be faithful to it till my last breath. And the most mother of men and the most mother, men, mother of perpetual health, grant that I may never cease to have recourse to thee. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mother of Perpetual Health, we will now recite the litany of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the World, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin conceived without, without sin, our Mother of perpetual health, we sinners call to thee, O Mary, ever help us. Your response now to these invocations will be, O Mary, ever help us. That we may love God with, your, with our whole heart. O Mother, ever help us, that we may be comfortable in all things to thy, to thy divine Son. O Mary, help us, that we may have a tender and heartfelt devotion to thee, most holy virgin, that we may hate what with all our strength sin. O Virgin, O Mary, ever help us, that we may frequently remember our last end. O Mary, ever virgin, help us, help us. That we may avoid without, with all our strength, proximate occasions of sin. O Mary, ever help us. That we may not neglect prayer a single day of our lives. O Mary, ever help us. That we may have recourse to prayers in the art of temptation. O Mary, ever help us. That we may generously forgive our enemies and wish well to all men. O Mary, ever help us. That we may not deter, defer our, con con our, con our conversion from day to day. O Mary, ever help us. help us. That we may zealously labor to overcome our bad habits. O Mary, ever help us. That we may live and die in the grace of God. O Mary, in all concerns of soul and body, in sickness and pain, O Mary, ever help us. In struggles against the inclinations of corrupt nature, O Mary, ever help us. In assaults of evil spirits, O Mary, ever help us. In temptations against the holy virtue of purity, O Mary, ever help us. In all danger of sin, O Mary, ever help us. When we have reached the end of our earthly course, O Mary, when living, when lying on our deathbed and the thought of our approaching dissolution shall fill us with fear and horror, O Mary, when the hour of final separation from all evil spirits shall
shall try to drive us to despair, O Mary. When the priest of the Lord shall give us the last absolution and blessing, O Mary, never help us. When our relatives and friends surround our bed, weeping and praying for us, O Mary, never help us. When our eyes grow dim and our hearts cease to beat, O Mary, when we breathe forth our spirit into the hands of our Creator, O Mary, when our poor soul appears before our Divine Judge, O Mary, when the terrible judgment is about to be passed, O Mary, when suffering in the flames of purgatory and longing for the vision of God, O Mary, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who has willed that the mother of thy only begotten Son should be the perpetual help of Christians on earth, grant us the grace to call on her with confidence in all our necessities of soul and body, so that, saved through her protection and assistance, we may be brought to the everlasting vision of thy glory in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Now we have the Patrick Finn, a great gift given to us by the Catholic Church. Down in adoration for you, this great sacrament we hail over ancient forms of worship. Never right, newer, newer rights of grace prevail. Faith will tell us Christ is present when our human senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who made us free and the Spirit God received from them each eternity. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might and endless majesty. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven, having within, us, within it all the sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your holy body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
Please wait for the usher to lead you out. Thank you, brother. Welcome to our place. 